Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Tony and I'm here with the program for Everyday Counts. Today we have an hour together for a heart-centered yoga practice. So gather everything that you need, blankets, pillows, any support that you need under your softness you might need under your knees as we come to kneeling, hands and knees, just have that handy. And then settle into a place that feels like it's comfortable for you. And you're welcome to stay, um, start in a seat if you prefer, in a, on a chair. Maybe sitting on something to lift the hips up might make it easier for you to stay in comfort here as we get into the breath. Settling into support. Taking a breath in. When you're ready, exhaling that out and letting it go. Another couple of breaths just like that. And you can soften your gaze or close your eyes down if that feels comfortable for you. Notice how you're feeling today. Notice how your body's feeling. And steady your breath. A little deeper, a little longer, in and out. Smoothing it out. The inhale all the way to the top and the exhale all the way down to the bottom. And from that awareness to your breath, consider dropping your awareness down into your heart space. And if you're not quite sure what that is like, well, what helps me is imagining something like a spark of light or even a pebble, anything that might be helpful to you and imagining that right in your mind Imagining it as if it was swirling around inside the center of your head, maybe around your third eye or between the eyebrows. And imagine that's your awareness. We spend most of our time way up in our mind. And imagine dropping that awareness down from the forehead all the way down into the heart space. And it might pop right back into your mind, no big deal, it's simply a practice. Dropping your awareness all the way down into your heart space. And that can be anywhere in your heart space. And notice how your heart feels today. Notice what kind of emotions are present. And imagine that you can breathe from this place, right in the center of your heart. As if every inhale, it expanded, and every exhale, it softened. You can even imagine it like a color or a light. Breathing right from the center of your heart space. As if you could send light beams out in every direction. Not only through the front of your heart, but through the sides and the back. And all the way through the crown of your head and down towards the earth as well. Almost like there was a star right inside of your heart. And that's where we'll be breathing from and moving from today. I'll keep reminding you to come back to this awareness, this awareness right in your heart space. 
And wherever you are, we're going to take the fingertips back by the hips. And if you're seated on a chair, back the sides of the chair or fingertips behind your hips. You can come up right onto um, tenting your fingers, push into the earth or the chair and lift up through the heart. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. And come back to that sensation of breathing through the heart. All directions. Imagine that inhale, that sending your heart space out wider and that exhale, imagine any hardness, any protection around your heart starting to soften around the edges. And notice how that feels. We spend a good deal of time protecting our hearts trying not to get hurt, trying not to let people see who we really are. Imagine if you could start to melt those walls. Mm -hmm. Now you're welcome to stay breathing here. Or we're gonna send those fingertips towards your knees if you're seated on a chair or maybe even towards the floor in front of you, drawing the belly in towards the spine, chin in towards the chest and breathe into the back of your heart here. And send those light beams, that color, that light out behind you as well in touch with the sensation of your heart being in all directions. Not exhaling, melting, any hardness, any protection that you may have built up just for a little bit. Only as much as feels comfortable for you. Another breath here. We're gonna come all the way up to center. Right hand supports you, left palm up on the inhale, we're taking the arm up on the exhale, down. Again, breathing as if from your heart space. And we're gonna open up that left arm towards the right if that feels comfortable, that right hand is supporting you on the earth or your chair. And now imagine if you could open up that heart as the arm comes over towards the sky, opening up through that left armpit rather than closing your heart down towards the earth. Imagine that you could look up towards the sky and open your heart up there too. Another two breaths. And then the option is to stay for three breaths. Pulsing or in stillness, widening through the collarbones, maybe taking that left arm back, arms, joints can be soft, sending your heart all the way up to the sky. Staying for the last breath and on that exhale, we're coming all the way down. Same thing, other side, left fingertips reach down towards the earth and we're lifting up through the right side. Mm -hmm. Notice how this feels, easy joints. Again, awareness to the center of your heart. No right and wrong here. Don't worry about what it looks like or how high or how low that arm comes. That right, those right fingers can come over to the left. The left hand is there to support you. Consider opening up through the right armpit as you turn your gaze, your heart to the ceiling. And you can stay here in movement or option to stay three breaths. Using that left hand to open up through the chest. Maybe that right hand comes back behind you somewhat to send your heart up towards the sky. You've got more or less one more breath here. And on that exhale, we're coming all the way down. Any movement you need in your body. And then we'll meet over on hands and knees. So over onto hands and knees, taking any padding you need under your knees. 
toes tucked or untucked, and the palms are as wide as they feel comfortable for your shoulders. Belly draws in, back at the heart lifts, and the gaze is forward. Steady the breath, heart-centered breath. And then from there, on an inhale, we're lifting up through the heart, opening up through the collarbones, dropping the belly. And on the exhale, push into the foundations from the back of the heart up towards the sky. Cat and cow, inhaling and exhaling, heart-centered movement. Feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze and go inwards and notice how this feels from your heart. Making any adjustments that you need to. Mm -hmm. Two more. And then when you're ready, coming back to center. From here, big barrel rolls through the ribs. And consider the heart space here as you move. And this can be a big movement, getting your elbows involved if that feels good. Or keeping those elbows straight and still. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Always aware of sensations, emotions, and that heart space, making room for all, knowing that if you need to rest or take a bit of time, then please do. Child's pose is always there, or any other resting pose. From there, we're coming back to center. In your own time, that right leg is coming forward. You can give it a little bit of help if you need to. Hands to the inside of that right leg. Turn the left thumb towards the um, side and towards the front of the mat. And heel toe that right foot as far out as you need to, patting the left knee as is comfortable. On the inhale, Sending the right hand up onto that right thigh. Great place to be. Spinning the heart towards the right, drawing the right hip back. And this is a great place to stay. On the inhale, if you want to add on, we're lifting up through the right arm. Exhaling, tapping down to thigh or the inside of that right ankle. Inhaling and exhaling. An option to take that right hand back behind you. You can take the gaze back with you if you feel comfortable. Just opening up through the chest. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here. Option to stay. Taking that arm back behind you, drawing the right hip back. Feel that openness across the collarbones and breathe through the heart here, sending that light, that color out in all directions. Sharing your heart with the space you're in. And noticing how that feels, not to be cramped or to feel like you need to protect it at every moment. Stay here for as long as you like. We take that right hand all the way down. Heel toe of the right foot in somewhat, hands to the thigh, and up we come. Patting the left knee as you need to. Readjusting yourself so it feels comfortable here. Excellent place to be. Rolling the shoulders back towards each other. The collarbones are wide. Excellent place to stay right here. Or, we're taking our hands back by our lower back, palms turned down, like we've got um, patch pockets on jeans and we're sliding the fingers into those patch pockets. Elbows draw back towards each other and the ribs draw in here. Inhaling and exhaling, great place to be, rolling the shoulders back and down away from the ears. Great place to stay. Steady breaths, breathing right into that heart space. 
all the way around. If you want to add on, we're interlacing the hands back behind us. Knuckles can stay resting on the back of the pelvis or knuckles down towards the left knee. Open up through the heart. And we're drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other. Little bend in the elbows that will help open up through the chest more. And the option here is to take the chin up towards where the ceiling meets the wall as long as the breath is easy. And we're here for three breaths. Breathe into your heart space all the way around as if you could expand that into the space around you. Last breath here. And wherever you are on that exhale, hands come back to the support. Hands to the inside of that right leg and the right leg comes round and back. Any movements you need, go ahead. And then the left foot comes forward and we take it wide towards the side of our mat. Pad the right knee as you need to. Right hand comes underneath the right shoulder. Fingertips out towards the side, come forward. On the inhale, coming up with the left hand on the left thigh, option to stay here, rolling the left shoulder back and the heart comes towards the left. Great place to stay. If you're adding on, inhale the left arm up, exhaling, tapping down towards the thigh or the inner ankle. Inhaling and exhaling. Left hip is drawn back here, Option to stay. Option to take that left arm as far back as is comfortable. Getting that twist through the spine and that wideness through the collarbones. You can stay here pulsing or the next time we take our hand back, stay there. Three breaths. Left hip drawn back. Opening up through that armpit as much as feels comfortable for you. Supported. Staying for the last breath. And on that exhale, we come down. Replacing those right fingers in a comfortable place. And we come all the way up. Patting the right knee as you need to and readjusting your stance here. Pulse forward and back, anything that feels good. And then we stay in stillness. Option to stay here. Option to roll the shoulder blades towards each other so we get the wideness through the collarbones. Draw the belly in so the lift is through the upper body, not through the arch of the back or through the tilt of the pelvis. Great place to stay. If you feel supported enough, hands come to the back of the pelvis, pushing in through the pelvis to keep that neutral. Fingertips down, elbows towards each other any amount, and the shoulders roll back and down. Again, those front ribs drawn in. Option to stay here. Option to interlace the hands, opposite first finger and thumb on top. Knuckles can stay in towards the back of the pelvis and we draw the shoulder blades and elbows in towards each other. Or send the knuckles down towards the earth, open up through the upper chest, belly's still drawn in here and we get length. Little bend through the elbows will help with the opening up of the chest. Steady breath if the breath is labored, chin in towards the chest. If you're adding on, chin comes up to where the ceiling meets the wall. And we're here for three breaths. Breathing into the heart space. The last breath here. Staying for the exhale as we come down. Left leg comes back, cat and cow. Any rolling through the spine that feels good to you, go ahead here. And then when you're ready, we'll draw the knees closer in towards each other. 
big toes come together to touch. Maybe you want to sit up on a bolster or a pillow or a blanket as we come back. Supported child's pose. Now if it feels more comfortable to have your knees wide, please take it. Otherwise, elbows, stacked fists, stacked palms with a rounded back. Maybe even taking the hands back by your hips or your heels. Forehead can be resting on a block or anything else that's handy. Breathing into the back of your heart here. And go inwards. Take your awareness like we did earlier from your mind all the way into that heart space. And notice what's present. Breathe into anything you find there. Emotions, stories, memories. You can stay here for as long as you like. Or when you're ready, hands come underneath your shoulders. And we're coming up and I'll meet you standing. Coming to mountain pose, comfortable distance uh, with your feet, palms towards the front of the mat. Rolling the collarbones, wide shoulders back and down, rooting to rise. Dropping the awareness from your mind directly down into your heart space Breathing from that heart-centered practice. Notice how that feels. Imagine your heart breathing with you. Taking the hands to heart center on the inhale, sending the arms wide. Gaze comes up and on the exhale, drawing the hands into heart center, chin comes into the chest. And palms can come back as far as they feel comfortable in your shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. and then taking the hands back down. From here, hands come behind the head, drawing the head back into the palms of the hands. So elbows can be forward or widening up through the elbows as much as feels comfortable in your shoulders. And from here, rooting into both feet, especially the right side, and we're lifting up through the right elbow and tipping over to the left. Rooting through the right heel, lifting through the right elbow. And then from here, there's a gentle twist as we send the heart up towards the right side. Breathing. Again, rooting through the right heel, lifting up through the heart, through the gaze. Back of the head is sitting into the cup of the hands and that right elbow is drawing back collarbones wide. Inhaling to center. And the left elbow comes up, pushing through the left heel to find the lift. Great place to be, back of the head, sitting into the cup of the hands. Elbows as forward or as back as feel comfortable for you. And then we're twisting the heart up towards this left top side here. Breathing in through the heart like an opening of a flower. Push into that left heel to lift the heart as, mu as much as is comfortable for you. Stay for the last breath and coming back to center. Hands come back behind you, interlacing the hands just like we did earlier. Knuckles resting on the back of the pelvis or the palms facing down. 
rolling the shoulders back and down. And then our go-to here is to stick those front ribs out, drawing the front ribs in, but lifting up through the heart. From there, knuckles can come back down towards the heels. Soft bend in the elbows, opening up through the chest, and we're pushing through both feet to find that rebounding up through the heart here. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing into that heart-centered breath. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, chin comes down towards the chest, releasing the hands and taking the arms from side to side. From here, hands towards the hips. Knees and ankles and towards each other, option to stay here as if we've got magnets between our knees and ankles. This is the inhale, on the exhale, we're bending through the knees and it doesn't matter how far down we are, but this is where we stay. Option to stay here, coming into eagle or modified eagle. Drawing in towards each other as if someone just zipped us up through the center of the body. Spreading all our energy all the way up right into our heart space. Option to stay here, cross over the right foot, pressing the front of the shin in towards uh, the front of the left shin and towards the back of the right leg and we're drawing the legs in towards each other. Option to stay here. Dropping down that right hip so everything evens up. Option to stay here. Option to cross the right foot over the top of the left thigh and we're still bending. Foot to the floor or tapping up and down depending on your comfort zone or wrapping that outer leg in towards the other outer leg. Fixing your gaze, great place to stay. Breathing into the heart space. Option to stay here wherever you are. Option to take the left, the right arm underneath the left, and here we are, crossing over, easy across the shoulders, Breathing into the heart space all the way around. Option to take the palms in towards each other, elbows draw in. So now we're drawing everything in towards the center line of the body. Option, right arm comes under the left at the elbows, bending the elbows, palms, or bound, your choice. And we're here, eagle, Breathing. You've got three breaths. Breathe into the heart space. Releasing, releasing the legs. Mountain pose, heart-centered breathing. After all of that compression, we get to open up. Same thing, other side. Ankles come in towards each other, great place to stay. And then we're bending through the knees. Doesn't have to be very far. Option to stay here. Option to cross the ankles. Left foot is rooted. Shin into the back of the left leg and we're finding that connection inwards allowing the hips to even themselves out top of the leg but the toes tapping down or one foot your choice you've got a whole lot of options here inhaling and exhaling Left arm underneath, crossed over, rolling the shoulders back. Palms towards each other, elbows draw in, and we're starting to get this compression across the chest. Option, left arm underneath, back of the hands, or binding, full eagle. And we're breathing. 
three breaths. Breathe into the heart, even in this compression. Last breath. Stay for the exhale. Releasing out, mountain pose, heart-centered breath. Dropping the awareness all the way down into your heart and imagine spreading that heart-centeredness wide. Like you're a star from the inside and it's spreading all the way around you in every direction. Hands come to your hips. And then we're sending the feet out a little wider. Toes facing out. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're sinking down. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, sinking. Making sure that the knees and toes are more or less in the same direction and it feels stable to you. Doesn't matter how far we come down. Adding on. We're gonna come down in three parts with three part breath. Exhale, exhale, exhale. So the inhale, we come up. Exhale, one, two, three. Doesn't matter how far we come down. Inhale, we take a big breath in, right into the heart space. Exhale, exhale, Exhale. If you want to add the arms, inhaling, reaching, exhale, cactus the arms, cactus the arms, cactus the arms, open heart. Taking the breath into the heart space. Two more. Inhaling all the way up. Heel toe the feet in, mountain pose. Breathing right into the heart space. Hands to the hips, and we're coming towards the top of the mat. Root down to rise. Drop your awareness down into your heart space and breathe from there. On an inhale, lifting up through the right heel. Exhale, stepping it back, warrior one. Right foot comes off towards the right and out about 45 degrees. Left foot facing forward and we're bending and straightening into that left leg until you feel like it's a comfortable place for you. With the toes turned in, we can draw the right hip forward as we draw the right shoulder forward. As this happens, you may feel like you need to adjust your stance. Back leg is long. On the inhale, we're lifting, straightening through the front leg, exhaling, sinking. Imagine with every inhale, the awareness goes all the way up to the head. Exhale, sink it back into the heart. Feel the difference between the mind and the heart. Option to take the hands back behind you in those patch pockets, roll the shoulders back and down, and here we're staying. Option to pulse. Option to interlace the hands back behind you, knuckles to the base of your pelvis, and we're rolling the elbows back. Front ribs are drawn in. Breathe right into the heart center. Option to stay here. Option to send the knuckles down towards the right heel as you root into it. And lift up through the upper body. Rather than flaring the ribs forward, 
draw them in and lift through the heart. Option to take the chin up if the breath is easy. You have three breaths here. Even the breath. Breathe right into the heart space like you'd share with the world. Last breath here. Chin comes down towards the chest, hands to hips. Straighten the front leg. Send the toes inwards, right toes in or right toes out, left toes in. And the back heel is pushing out a little so we can get that internal rotation here. This is the inhale and the exhale is sinking into the front knee and just playing with that a while and deciding if you need to change up your foundation. Next time we sink, we stay. And then we draw the shoulders square to where we're facing. If you need to adjust anything, please go ahead. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, the awareness can go up into the head. Exhaling, we're sinking that awareness down into the heart space. We're just noticing the difference between that. You can stay here. Take the hands back behind you, those patch pockets. Or interlace the knuckles, but opposite first finger and thumb comes on top. Elbows draw back, front ribs draw in. This is the inhale, exhale, sinking, option to stay. Option to send the knuckles down towards the back heel, rolling the shoulders back and down, front ribs drawn in, but the heart lifts. Push into both feet equally. If the breath is even, lift the chin and breathe into your heart space like you could share it with the world. You've got more or less one more breath left. Hands come to the hips. Straighten the front leg. And we step forward. Coming to mountain pose. Palm to heart, palm to belly. Breathe right into your heart. And then when you're ready, we'll come down to the earth and you're going to need a rolled towel or a rolled blanket and possibly a pillow. I'll see you down there. Here we are, back down on the earth. Have a blanket here. And I'm going to roll that blanket. So it's about as wide as my mat. Making sure it's nice and smooth. So I have a roll here. And it's quite a long, but not a deep one. And this is a very soft blanket, so I know it can be quite squidgy. I'm going to put it down and I'm looking to put it across my shoulder blades. Now depending on what feels comfortable in your body, you may also want a pillow down underneath your head. So knees to the sky, feet to the floor, and I'm putting that rolled blanket right underneath my shoulder blades, but my shoulders are resting on the earth. And again, a lot of you may feel more comfortable with a pillow underneath your head. Arms in a cactus or a T, so the shoulders feel like they're connecting down to the earth. And if they're not connecting down to the earth, then take a little, um, take less of a roll underneath you, roll it out a little bit, and the um, edge, the other edge, the soft edge can be underneath your shoulders. So that gives you a little more height. From here, knees in towards each other, feet can come out, great place to be. If you have anything you prefer to put underneath your knees or taking your legs long, option to be there. But this is about comfort here. So, 
may mean different things. It's definitely going to be different things to different people. So try out those different things. Support yourself as you need to. Pause this video to get it perfect. And then I'm just going to snuggle down here a little bit more. There we go. And then when it feels like you could be here, supported, and rest, then that's the perfect place. And I want you to drop your awareness from your mind once more down into your heart space. And notice if in this position it feels challenging to breathe into your heart space. Make any adjustments you need to for this to feel easy. And then drop that awareness from your mind right into the center of what feels like your heart space. And I'm not talking about where the heart is, I'm talking about the heart space. So it can be anywhere in your chest area, And imagine that right in that chest area is a little bud of a flower, maybe a rose, and it's tightly, tightly wrapped in, it on, in on itself. And with every inhale, those petals start to open, and on the exhale, they soften towards each other again. Just imagine that, feel, or sense that as best as you can, right in your heart space. And it can be any flower, any color, or simply a light that brightens and softens with your breath. And imagine those petals getting wider and wider, like that rose gently opening, or whatever flower you've chosen, or color, or light. And noticing if anything is coming up for you that you're hesitating. And that's okay too. It's okay just to be aware of what's present. And right in the center of that heart space, imagine that flower opening up, that light beaming bright in all directions. And if there's something in particular or someone in particular that your heart was very close to, imagine, imagine what this would feel like as you opened yourself up. So simply feeling what you would feel if you opened yourself towards that feeling, that person, that situation. Knowing that you're safe here in your practice, on your mat. You're not in front of that person or in that situation. You're just imagining it. Just a little as much or as little as you want to. Notice resistance, and that's fine too. This is a practice. There's no right and wrong here. And if it feels more comfortable or safer to have that flower tightly closed around that situation or that person, then that is better for you. No right and wrong, no judgment, no self-judgment. It's just a practice of imagining. Sensing or feeling into that sense of an open heart space. 
Now you can stay here for as long as you like. We're gonna fold those arms in towards ourselves. Roll over to one side and take that blanket roll away. And notice what that feels like with the back of your heart resting on support. Imagine that flower, that light. If you want to, imagine that closing down now or keeping it open, your choice. interesting things happen when we're in this place of open-heartedness. Option, if your legs are long, to draw your knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Palms coming down by your hips, rolling the shoulder blades towards each other. This will feel familiar at the moment. Pushing into your feet on the inhale, lifting the hips up, exhaling, taking the hips down. And imagine if that in-breath from your heart was lifting you up. And you're welcome to stay here or robot arms, elbows in towards your waist, fingertips up towards the sky, push into your triceps, Lift up through the pelvis, exhale, take it down. You might feel you have a little more connection down to the earth here through the upper arms. Option to stay high or interlace your hands underneath you. Walk one shoulder and then the other underneath you and we're lifting up. Open up the chest towards your chin, chin drawn in and we're breathing. Push into your feet any amount. You've got another couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, unbind your hands, palms towards the floor. Exhale, take the heels down. Realign yourself. Option to draw your knees in towards yourself. Give yourself a little hug, rock and roll from side to side. And from here, feet to the floor, right knee draws in, the opposite, and the right ankle comes to the opposite thigh, thread the needle. Great place to stay right here. Option to take the hands to the outside of the thigh, underneath the knee, or hands to the front of that left shin. And we're drawing the left thigh in towards our ribs any amount. Breathing here into the right hip. And even with the sensation in your right hip, can you stay with the awareness in your heart space? You might even notice as you're um, rooting down here into the earth, the inhale, you're finding the back ribs, the back of your heart push into the earth. Staying for one last breath. Left foot comes down. You can stay here in a figure four. You can cross the right leg over to the left. Or you can take your knees and ankles in towards each other, uncrossing the legs. And then wherever you are, option to take the knees over towards the left, keeping that right shoulder rooted. Gaze comes over that right shoulder. A couple of breaths here in a twist. And again, awareness dropping down into your heart space, noticing how it feels there. Breathing in that heart-centered breath. When you're ready, gaze comes to center, knees come up to center, and we're unbinding if you are bound. Left ankle over the right.
right thigh, great place to stay right here, left foot is flexed. Or thread the needle, ascending those hands to either side of the right thigh behind the knee or in front of that shin. Depending on the sensation and the level of sensation you want to feel and how your body feels in the shape. Both feet flexed, even with that sensation, the outer left hip breathing into your heart center. The hips are often the closets of emotion, so as we open the hips up, it's quite common that we feel things in our heart. Memories, thoughts, inner dialogue, judgments, staying here, taking that right foot down in your own time. Option to keep the figure four to cross that leg over or to take the knees and ankles uh, towards each other. And we're sending the hips or the um, shape over towards the right side. So the knees come over. That left shoulder is grounded, rooted down, and we're breathing. Option to stay here for as long as you like, heart centered breath. Coming up to center when you feel ready, releasing the bind. Give yourself any lost movements that you might want before you come into relaxation. And I'm gonna come up to a seat to guide you. Any adjustments you need to make, any extra layers, any eye pillows, you go ahead and do what it is that you need here to finish up your practice. And then when you're ready, sense that support underneath you. And allow your body to sink into that support with a sigh. Easy support underneath your body that your body can relax and release into. Imagine your bones getting heavy into that support, your joints easy, your muscles releasing, your inner organs releasing tension. Letting go, letting go. And then take your awareness right into your heart space, familiar with you now. And imagine from the very center of your heart, there's a softening, an opening. Like hard candle wax melting and softening and warming. And that softening and melting starting to spread outwards from your heart space, filling that whole area. Contractions and boundaries and anything hard there starts to soften. Starting to spread out into your entire chest, right to the edges, front, back and sides, to your ribs, the top of your shoulders, 
And that soft melting, that opening sensation rolls down in both arms to the tips of your fingers and thumbs. This open heartedness, this open arms. And that soft, warm melting rolls up through your throat and neck, filling your head. Softening any hardness in your face. The inside of your skull. Thoughts start to get lazy. That softness rolling down from your upper chest into your waist. Your belly and lower back. your pelvis and hips. That warm candle wax feeling rolling down from your upper legs, lower legs, to your heels and toes until your whole body feels like it could melt into that support underneath you completely. Awareness back into that beautiful heart space with everything soft and easy. And just be present there, noticing what's there right inside your heart space. You could even notice right inside your heart space, what is it that your heart desires in this moment? your deepest heart desire. Allow things to arise until something arises that really resonates with you, your deepest heart desire. Acknowledging whatever that is without judgment, without needing to fix anything, to change anything. Connecting with your heart space. to your whole being connected to this heart-centered place within you. And you can stay here for as long as you like connecting to that heart space and you can come back there at any time by dropping down from your mind right into your heart space as we practice today and it is a practice it becomes easier the more we do it imagine what moving through your days your weeks would look like would differ coming from this place. Wherever you are, taking your hands, if you would like to finish your practice, simply over your heart, stacking palms on top of each other. Noticing that breath that wave of breath, maybe even noticing the beat of your heart. And softening your gaze or closing your eyes and thanking yourself for this awareness to this beautiful part of yourself. 
I thank you for taking the time to practice and to spend time moving and breathing and tuning in to who you are from my heart to yours. Namaste.